Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hi, this is Valder Beebe, your host of the Valder Beebe Show. It's a great day, but every day is a great day. And I've got two great guests for you. I've got Mark Ramsey and Digger Mains. Now, you know them from TV. You've seen them on the Discovery Channel. Well, they're returning and they're here to talk about their return for their new season, Moonshiners. Hi, guys. Thanks and welcome here. Hey, thanks for having us. Thank you. Good morning. Okay, I got some questions for you guys, and and I'm if I could, I'm going to just start with you, Mark. How have you guys stayed on TV? I'm thinking Moonshiners is illegal, but you're going to have to school me on this. How have you done this? Well, we're sneaky, honey. Uh, we uh, <laughs> we we know how to hide, and uh, you know. It's not live TV. When you see it, we're not there anymore. We've done done it and gone. I know, but isn't isn't moonshining against the law, or it's illegal in Tennessee? And I just don't know that. Well, you know, it's presumed to be, I reckon. Um, <laughs> but you know, it's like I tell folks. I mean, look at the world today. How many people are falling dead from drug overdoses? How many people have, have beat their grandmother up to get enough money to go buy them a pill or some heroin or something? Nobody does that to get them a jar of liquor. No. You know, uh, moonshine, uh, anybody with any sense will tell you that uh, moonshine won't hurt you. There's way more old drunks than there are old doctors. Well, I'm not criticizing that because, you know, you can buy moonshine. I'm in Texas. And in some yes, like, you can. yeah, you can buy moonshine in some places, bars and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And, you know, people want to criticize the legal end. Honestly, the legal end's just as good as the illegal end. It's made okay. the same. Any clear liquor that comes off is moonshine. The only, the only thing that makes it illegal is uh, is the taxes have not been paid on it. You know, uh, the government, as a rule, they don't care for you making liquor if you'll pay them their money. But it's, that's where the illegal part comes in. Okay, let's move on. I want to find out, you guys are, uh, we're in an economic slump, but you guys aren't. You guys, I read somewhere where, you know, when uh, the economy shut down, people stopped, grocery stores closed and they had all this food and these vegetables, but that boosted your economy. Could you tell me about that, Digger? Well, you know, <clears throat> we our little county has always been in a little, what, you, what I consider a little micro-economy. Um, it was that way during the Great Depression. There was, you know, people couldn't sell a bushel of corn, but they could sell a case of liquor. So, <laughs> you know, who's going to benefit? These boys here, they knew how to hunker down, make it work, make good liquor. And it's the same way in these trying times we're facing right now. People needed to, to for, for safety's sake, for fun's <laughs> sake, for food's sake, and uh, to sanitize their hands as well. Yeah. And Digger, okay. we sanitize, but we start from the inside out. And we cook, <laughs> with, we cook with moonshine, too. And every once in a while, we'll put a little of it in the food. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, people, they say they're drinking more because of the hard times during the pandemic. Are they drinking more moonshine also? They're doing something with it. <laughs> yeah, we don't, <laughs> you know, we can't police it once it leaves our hands. But, you know, it's going somewhere, so... If they're enjoying it, bully for them. We don't care what they're doing with it. And honestly, okay, so we've say, met some say, of the wives of people that, that buy our liquor, and I'd drink a little bit, too, if I was stuck there. <laughs> okay. Okay, so sales are up. That's my question. Sales are up for you guys also, too? Oh, yeah. Sales are up oh, really, yeah. really good. And, uh, you know, it's 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 been good for us, but also we, we've tried to pass on savings. We have sold our product a lot cheaper this year simply because people are having a hard time and, and you know we're trying to we're trying to maintain our livelihood but in the meantime pass on some some savings and you know to touch on that you got to realize that the old moonshiners in their neck of the woods they weren't hellions they were family men they weren't hoodlums and they were the people that that folks in the community went to when they had a little problem so they would help them out it's in the dna of these old men it was passed down through generations. That's what we do. We help folks out. We don't hold them hostage just because they need something. We've been we've been blessed. You know, we had uh, 
we had a lot of files that we could reach back into and pull out from the old timers that, that, that taught us the right way. And that's what we see on your show when you come when you come to Discovery. We just see your heritage and what you believe in. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We we're not for deleting or changing history. You know, it's called history for a reason. So you learn from it. You learn from it, and uh, you know, not all history is good. But just because moonshining, for example, just because some of the history is not good, don't mean it didn't happen. And uh, now we're trying to turn things around a little bit and show show people the side of it that the world as a as a whole didn't know. All right. Well, we're going to be watching you guys on the Discovery Channel. I'm going to be one of your biggest fans because I think you guys are cute. I want my audience uh, to follow me there so we can have a great conversation about you guys. I want to thank you so much, Mark and Digger, for being here. But I'm going to find out more about Moonshine. How about that? Please you do. come on up, honey. We'll fill your head so full of knowledge. You'll be running over. All right. So that means you got to come back and you got to update me after this season. All right. We'll treat you so many different ways, honey. You're bound to like one of them. All right, Ben. Thank you so much for being my guest today and Merry Christmas to you. You're thank you. welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.